Hey guys, get ready with me using Glow Recipe. So I'm going to be doing my skincare with all just Glow Recipe products. Okay, I just got out of the shower, so I look like a wet rat right now. Okay, I'm going to start with my um, Glow Recipe spray. I feel like no one talks about this. This is so nice. Okay, now I'm going to use my toner. Um, everyone always says that this toner is like never ending which is kind of true like i've had this for so long and it's barely gone down at all like i got this in the very beginning of march and there's still so much left and i use like a fair amount like i don't think i use like really little and i literally use it every day and night and there's still that much left which is actually insane like i don't even know why there's still so much okay now i'm using my bright eye gel cream just under my eyes and it really moisturizes underneath i use this in the morning too sometimes okay now i'm gonna use their um, moisturizer this is like the hyaluronic um cream there's a piece of hair in there and it's so much everything smells so good too it's super moisturizing and it feels like jelly on my skin or like the texture in general which i love so much okay now i'm putting on their watermelon glow night treatment every time i use this I wake up with such like a glowy face and it's so nice. This also feels so nice on the skin. It's like super cooling. Okay, I'm gonna spray this again just because it feels so nice. It smells so good too. Okay, the final thing is what I'm most excited about. Glow Recipe is launching a new product um, in a bit and they sent it to me to try it out and I'm so excited. Okay, I know it's gonna smell good. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's a lip balm, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is so moisturizing, and, like, it feels like a lip gloss. Like, it feels like a lip balm, but it looks like a lip gloss because of how shiny it is. I will most definitely be using this as a lip gloss. And it actually tastes amazing, too. I know you're not supposed to eat lip products, but I do. Okay, I literally can't wait for them to release the lip balm and for you guys to try it because I already know you guys would love it. Bye, guys. Get ready with me to go see my favorite person in the whole world. Okay, so her name's Marley. <laughs> guys, I haven't seen her in like five days. So to make up for that, I'm going to be with her for five days. Actually, I'm going to be with her for two weeks. Like straight. Okay, so today I'm going over to her cousin Emma's house with her and i get to see my aunt jessica i haven't seen her in so long <laughs> and Emma. and then tomorrow after we stay the night at her house she's coming back to my house and then i'm going to her house for three days friday saturday and sunday because my brother's having a birthday party and he doesn't want me there up at our lake house and he doesn't want me there so i have to stay with marley <laughs> and then sunday through next monday we're all gonna be on a road trip I'm bringing Marley and Brock's bringing Hobby. You guys have seen Hobby. He's like the big one in my videos. Just playing. I love you, Hobby. Hobby, I don't know how to describe him. You guys will know when you see him. So we're all going on a road trip for a week, and I don't know how that's going to work because me and Marley are going to end up beating Hobby's ASS because he's always doing too much, and he's always running his mouth, and he never stops. Like, we'll be all getting in an argument over text for an hour. So I don't know how we're going to be doing an 11 hour road trip for a week. Well, like it's an 11 hour drive there and back. We're hitting like three or four different states, but that's besides the point. The point is that I get to see Marley for two weeks and I'm literally so, so excited. Oh, you guys are going to have so much Marley content. Okay, but we need to start convincing her to do dances because I'm always doing dances. My phone's on the charger, like balancing. Um, but I'm always doing dances, and she will never do dance with me because she says she can't dance. But neither can I, but I still do it. And people make fun of me on the internet. They're like, the one person that puts no energy into their dancing and still gets likes. Okay, guys, I get it. Like, I just do the dances that don't have a bunch of energy because I can't do the dances that have a bunch of energy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not that coordinated. But I'm getting there, I promise. It's gonna get there. I'm gonna get in some dance classes. But again, that's besides the point. We need Marley to start dancing. And we have ma matching Minion shorts from Target in the men's section. Pajama shorts. They're amazing. Alexa played Justin Bieber Baby. 
Baby by Justin Bieber. Baby by Justin Bieber. She got me. Oh, 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 oh. Ilya mascara is so underrated. Like, this mascara is actually so good. It, like, doesn't get clumps or anything. I gotta finish this out quick because this song is my song. Okay, anyways, I just finished my makeup. Gotta go, gotta go. I'm gonna start singing. I just eat it. Hey guys, got to me. We're going bowling because bowling is fun and I also have not been in like so long. I also don't think my friend group has ever gone together except for like two birthday parties especially. I'm also probably gonna be like shit, but I don't know. Hopefully I'll like do it really good. Anyway, I kind of had like a really productive day yesterday. I like went to tennis and like went on a walk and then like worked out and I ate a cucumber. That wasn't part of the productive day, but have you guys seen that guy on your free page like Logan who just makes the cucumbers? Because he's like all over my free page and makes me crave cucumbers constantly. Anyway, then I slept over at my friend's house and we made more cucumber. And then we went shopping until lunch today. I also got crumble, but it wasn't even that good. I only really liked the cinnamon one. The cinnamon one was like amazing. But I'm also excited because I'm seeing like some friends that I haven't seen like all summer. Just because the friend group hasn't really been together because like everybody has been away. And no one's really home yet, but like some people are home, so we're hanging out. And when you're like midway through your makeup and you just like don't feel like doing your makeup anymore because I've like reach that point and i don't know what to do because i can't like just quit halfway through but like i'm done i already know that my lashes are going like bad because i had mascara on earlier and then i like showered and took it off so now it's like the second time of the day i'm putting on mascara so it's like not gonna work out okay hey guys i got the lip liner that they use on love island it's like the lifter liner from maybelline and it stays on for so long i kind of don't love the shade i got like it's a little dark it's fine line i think but yeah, I just feel really cool now because I have something that they use on the show. So I just feel really connected. I just put a lip mask over it just because my lips are really dry. But it's like intense now, but it's going to stop us on trust. Okay, I think we are like ready. I don't know, but also have to go. So like kind of probably just should be ready. I'm using EOS lotion. Um, You guys know I'm like obsessed with this. It's the cashmere vanilla. Okay, yeah. Bye guys. Hey guys, get ready for me to hang out with my friends that are twins. I'm actually really excited because I wasn't allowed to hang out with these people for the longest time and I also haven't seen them since school. I decided to switch up my jewelry today if anyone can tell. I feel like I never really stick with a main necklace though because I always get bored of the same thing. Tomorrow we have orientation and I'm kind of scared because I just hate school so much and orientation is a sign that it's getting closer to starting school again. My room is giving such 2020 vibes. But I have no idea what to do with my room right now because we're moving soon. So I just hung up some old vines to make it feel more homey, I guess. But was anybody else a victim of the plaid sheets from 2020? Because I definitely was. Actually, I think they might be called grid sheets. I don't know. They were the ones with like the black squares. Honestly, I don't really care about getting classes with people I know. I'd much rather get lunch with people I know. Because I'm fine sitting in a class alone, but I'm not fine with sitting at lunch alone. And I've never really sat at lunch alone, except the first week of seventh grade because I was new. But other than that, like, I've never really sat at lunch alone. I've moved schools so many times, it's not even funny. So I'm hoping to get through high school without having to go to a new high school. And I'm gonna just be straight up with you guys. Moving schools is terrible. I hate it so much. So anybody who's going to a new school, I feel bad for you. And maybe your experience will be different than mine, but every time I move to a different school, I've hated it. And the thing is, if you're a new student and you're a guy, it's probably way easier to make friends because girls are so mean and so fake. So like, it's freaking hard to make friends as a girl. Oh my gosh, I freaking dislike Andrea from Love Island so much. And I haven't even watched Love Island yet. I've just seen all these clips on TikTok of her hating on Leah. At this point, she's honestly Leah's number one fan or something. 
And that one live stream of someone asking if Rob was a good kisser. And she turned around and like did this or something. It's hard to explain, search it up. I got secondhand embarrassment. It wasn't even me and I got so embarrassed by it. I also heard she was only in the villa for four days. And then I saw a video of her calling Leah Two-Face. I don't know, she makes me so mad. Comment if you're excited for the school get ready with me's again. Because I know I'm not excited. After the first week of school, school just goes downhill from there. School is so hard in the winter because it's hard to get up and I have zero motivation. Hopefully I don't miss too much school this year because I really need to not miss school. Alright guys, thanks for watching today's Get Ready With Me. Hey guys, get ready with me to get my belly button pierced. So I've wanted my belly pierced for forever, but my parents have said absolutely not. But I'm 18 and today's my best friend's 18th birthday, so we're gonna go and get them pierced together. And then we're gonna like take pictures after somewhere. I'll show you my outfit. Here's what I'm wearing. I need something that is low-waisted enough to have my belly show, but yeah, this is from Addicted. These are Paxson. I'm so excited, but I'm so scared. I'm just going over my hair with a straightener because it's already pretty straight. And I'm gonna do a vlog of us getting them pierced, so stay tuned for that. But I'll be back when I'm done with my hair. Okay, my hair's all straight, so we're gonna do my makeup now. I told my parents that I'm doing, like that I'm getting my Fark, why does it do this? Gotta shake it up. Okay, we'll see if that's better. Please. I think it is. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. Anyways, I told my parents that I'm getting my belly button pierced today. And they obviously don't want me to, but I don't know why they're so against it. Like, it, I really don't get it. But yeah, it's not like I'm like doing it behind their back. Like they know, they just aren't happy about it. And I really don't understand what they hate so much about them. I actually think my dad thinks that I'm joking, but he's gonna see that I wasn't. And my mom can say like no all she wants, but I don't think she actually cares that much because she knows it's gonna look cute. And like the thing that's so annoying for me is that my parents aren't even strict. Like they're like not strict at all when it comes to anything else. Like there's not very many like rules and stuff for me like because well, they trust me but like they're just not strict parents but then something as stupid as this they care about so much i am a little nervous just because the place we were gonna go it's like a tattoo place tattoo and piercing but their only piercer like doesn't work on wednesdays or something so we can't go there and that's where like everybody that i know that has one has gone but we're going to some other place that's in our mall, which is why I'm scared. It's like, it's a body piercing place and it's like its own store in the mall, but like still, it just seems kind of ratchet since it's in a mall. But that's like the only other place we could find for today, so I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'm just kind of nervous. But yeah, and then also like, you're not supposed to get them wet for however long or whatever, but I'm gonna have to put like a cover on it or something, because because first of all, I have a pool, and then also I'm going to my cousin's up north, like, next week or something, and they live on the lake and stuff, so I'm obviously going to want to be in the water, so I'll have to figure something out for that. Wait, how do you shower, though? Like, I'm confused about that. I'm, they'll tell us everything there, so it's fine. Also, there better not be anything with, like, tanning. Like tattoos where you can't lay in the sun when you first get them done because that would be an issue for me. I don't think that's a thing, but I don't really know. I don't think I've actually like processed that I'm like actually good doing this because it's gonna hurt and like I haven't even thought about that at all. Like it's good. I don't want to get myself scared and like I'm not scared of like needles or anything like that, but like it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna do mascara. I haven't worn mascara in so long. So let's see how it goes. Okay, they look pretty good. I feel like this top is like not my style normally. Because normally I'm like pink and girly. And this is like cheetah. But I think it's cute. Okay, so that's it for makeup. So I'm just going to do my lips. I'm going to line them a little. And then Benetint. And then for now, just some Laneige, but my 
Dior lip stuff is in my purse upstairs. Okay, I just put some dry shampoo in my roots to give me some more volume. But that's the final look. So nervous and excited. Stay tuned for the vlog. Bye, guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for dinner. Also, ignore the state of my hair because I just got, I just took my hair out the top. This is too big, it's annoying me. Anyways, I'm in such a good mood because my friends have arrived on in Spain now and we was playing. They got here at two and then we've literally been out in the pool ever since and it's literally been so f I literally, what? I literally got the most like banging tan lines like Giannis. Ooh, wait, you can't really see, but like, you can in real life, like, you see that? Oh my god. Anyways, outfit for tonight, I'm just wearing these shorts, I don't know where they're from, but then this top is from Sheen. <laughs> That's why it's so see sorry. But, guys, when I get, when I go back to England, I'm gonna get an iPad Air. Ooh. With my money, because I just like always want an ipad and the only reason i want an ipad is so i can like make more youtube videos and it'll be easier to edit on and also i love playing my book i literally love it, oh, I love it so much. i'm like because i go on holiday quite a like quite a few times a year um i want to bring like an ipad that i can like watch things on like when i go to thailand they put screens on the chairs because it's a really long flight but for like Spain, we didn't have them. I, I got British Airways for the first time. Oh my god, takeoff was a bit. Ooh. Let me just play turbulence was doing it. Sad. But yeah, I'm so happy my friends are here now. They they've got a house. It's so nice. It's like modern. It's like nice. It's nice. Like, oh, it's actually so nice. Oh. But theirs is a house where the house is um what's it called? Flat. but we are in the same resort so we literally just like walk to each other um their house is like three minutes away maybe um walk wise but yeah i'm not really dressing up that much tonight because i'm going to this place but it's not busy so i don't really need to worry about getting all done up like outfit wise my outfit's just cute excuse me what did you say Yes, it is. She just said, as soon as I paused it, she said, no, it's not. And I was like, wrong. Yes, it is. Shut up. Excuse me? I do think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Where's the tiniest? Tiniest, tiniest, tiniest. If you can see, oh my God, I actually look like a rat. Basically, I look like someone that had like rabies because basically... I kept getting water at me, and you know when you get water in you, you like shake your head. Yeah, it would not come out. So I was just like standing outside the pool before I was about to dive in, and I was just like this. And I had a bun, so it was just wiggling everywhere. And I actually looked like, yeah, I just slipped wet. My hair's so messy. Oh. I love having my hair sit back because then it's just out my face and it's not annoying, especially on holiday. It's currently seven o'clock. Look how sunny it is still. That's the pool I was in. But there is a main pool and. There was a massive group of boys. Massive. I think they like a lot of them were like eight years old looking. And then other ones were like my age maybe? I don't know. And we was having a whole like war. Like literally, World War Four had started. Wait, has there been a World War Two or am I being silly? No, or a World War Three. So I'm getting hot. My eyebrows, like, I don't know what to do with my eyebrows because I haven't got them done because I never got them done. Like, I don't really think I need doing my eyebrows done. Like, I don't really know what to do with it. It's really hard. Okay, literally a tiny bit of powder. I think I'm actually just going to use what's on the powder buff. So, Ricka. Yeah, I'm just using what's on it. I just want to sit back on my chair now. I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh. Uh. Huh. Oui. Back to the iPad situation. I'm going to get it when I'm in England because I'm going to go Westfield to Stratford to get it. So I can get it in person and then can have a little apple bag. Yeah, and I'm gonna get my initials engraved. I'm gonna wipe my mascara in a minute, but I'm gonna put on some of the cream. Let's do this. Yeah, two face lip injection. Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah. Ready with me? Try and bubble. Okay, the cleanser I want to try tonight because my face is already clean, so I don't need that now. Before I start with that, I'm gonna start with my toner, like I always do. And you guys, I did not get any sleep today. Let me tell you why. So I posted my Snapchat on social media and said, guys, add me and stuff like that, right? Well, I didn't expect like hundreds and hundreds of people would add me. 
And a lot of people were calling me all day, all night. Oh, this serum feels really, really nice. Yesterday at 4 in the morning, in the middle of the night, people calling me. And I had to post a story immediately saying, guys, I'm trying to sleep. Don't call me. And then in the morning again, I was trying to sleep and people were calling me. And now I... Oh my goodness! It's a flower! I do have the push notifications off from Snapchat that I can't receive any Snapchats. But I don't know why with calls, I do receive all of them. Just a little reminder, I have said this before, but I don't do calls on Snapchat. I don't call anybody. I don't pick up calls. Nothing like that. I think I've only done this once where I remove a person that calls me nonstop knowing that I don't pick up calls or things like that. Like the person knows that I don't do calls and they call me like 20 times. And not 20 times the week, no. 20 times at once i hang up again i hang up they call again i hang up and i remember. also been seeing comments of you guys wondering if i'm american spanish i'm not spanish i just lived there for like 10 years and the reason why i speak spanish is because my mom is from colombia so that's why i speak spanish but the spanish accent comes from living in spain my oldest sister is the one that has the latina accent you know i was born in norway but because my parents were living here before i was born duh but i don't consider myself norwegian but because no one in my family is norwegian and we don't speak norwegian at home i don't have the culture traditions i don't do any of that because none of us are norwegian i'm not even fluent in the language so and then my nationality is french so that explains why my name is josette i was named after my french grandmother who is my dad's mom and my oldest sister la mas vieja she's french like fresh 100% I know it's really confusing trust me I've lived like that my whole life and when people ask me where are you from I'm like I don't know oh, I needed a little Capri Sun break let me just quickly set my face and I'll be right back actually I'm gonna add a little bit of this Fenty highlighter on my eyelids because it looks really pretty as an eyeshadow my makeup is done now I just need some lipstick setting spray okay i'm ready now and quick reminder please do not call me on snapchat because sometimes you call me in the middle of the night and it wakes me up hey guys get ready for me when i talk about how my boyfriend of almost a year cheated on me with my best friend also i'm not dating him anymore so this happened june of last year so it was like over the summer but me my ex-boyfriend and one of my ex-best friends were hanging out like every single day of the summer it's like we were almost a trio of some sort i guess i don't know but i always felt like something was going on between them because they would always leave me out sometimes and like look at each other a lot but like honestly i didn't think much of it because she was my best friend and he was my boyfriend so i was just like okay whatever like but this is kind of weird but anyways i asked to hang out with the girl and she was like no sorry i'm busy and then i asked my boyfriend like can we hang out he's like no sorry i'm busy also so i was like okay well both of them are busy so who can i hang out with anyways like two days later i go to her house and she is like on her phone but she's not showing me it which is like fine like i like it's like fine that you don't want me seeing your phone but like that's just weird so anyways she goes to the bathroom and I see a text from my boyfriend and her phone was unlocked so I could see the message which is like weird to me because I feel like she wanted me to find out because why would you leave your phone unlocked when you're texting him it just doesn't really make sense to me anyways me being the snoop that I am I looked through their messages and it's really hard for me to say what was in these messages because it was really descriptive anyways just from two messages i had learned that i have seen enough anyways of course she didn't know that i seen the text so when she came back she was just hiding her phone all over again but it's kind of like weird to think about because like little did i know while me and him were dating and hanging out with both of them they were doing something on the low but anyways if you ever have a gut feeling follow that gut feeling because if I didn't have that feeling, I would not have known that they were doing all that. So I guess the lesson I learned was not everyone is your friend and always trust your gut. 
Anyways, that's just how I found out. I'll come back with a part two on how I confronted both of them. Love you guys. to recreate Suni Lee's makeup look from the Olympics. Not only am I hyper fixated on her bar routine, but also her makeup. I've taken some notes from some of her previous Get Ready With Me's and also from the inspo pics. She starts off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I don't usually use this because it's super sticky, but you know, if it's lasting through her routines, like it's gotta be good. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Suni in real life a couple years back. I think this was after the 2020 Olympics. She is not only so talented, but one of the kindest people I've ever met in my entire life. Next, she goes in with the Flawless Filter, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna mix my skin tint with the Say Super Glowy Gel to kind of get the same effect and put that all over my face. Y'all tell me why I almost started like tearing up during the Olympics as if like I was there or something. It's like the only time I'm patriotic as fuck is when the women's gymnastics is on. She then uses the Kosas concealer on her cheeks and then in between her eyebrows. I feel like I'm also just even more invested in the Olympics right now because of Suni. If she has zero fans, I am dead. I also grew up doing gymnastics. I sucked ass, so we're not going to talk about it. But when I was younger, there was nobody that looked like me on TV to look up to. I think she's just such a good role model for younger girls to look up to, which is so inspirational. I didn't catch what concealer she was using under her eyes in the video, but she used a brightening one, so I'm just using my Fenty. I think the focal point of this look is her contour and blush on her cheek. It's so smooth. I'm just using the Rare Beauty one because I think this is my most popular pigmented bronzer stick. She also does her forehead and the jawline. And for her nose, she does like two lines down each side. Then she uses the Rare Beauty liquid blush right here and then blends this dot upwards like around the eye. Okay, I low-key fucked up because I forgot how pigmented this stuff is, but it's fixable. She then sets her under eyes with a loose powder and a powder puff. And she also does her forehead right here. Okay, and then we do powder bronzer and powder blush. She really focuses it where the cream bronzer went, which is hard for me because when I get my hands on a powder bronzer, it goes all over my face. I can't help it. She does the same thing with blush. I'm pretty sure she uses a glowy one because her cheeks are very glowy, but I don't think she's wearing any highlighter. I hope I don't botch this at all because her face card is so lethal. I would be doing a disservice. I couldn't find a video of her doing her eye makeup anywhere, but for the Olympics, my guess is that she did black eyeshadow as eyeliner and then smoked it out with brown eyeshadow all over the lid. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I'm gonna do. It also helps so much that she's also a lash extension girl. I'm not sure if she does bottom mascara, but her eyes do really pop, so I'm guessing yes. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I couldn't tell what lip liner she was using, but it kind of matched her lip color, so I'm just gonna use Deep Taupe by Anastasia. And then I feel like she always has a mauve glossy, pinky lip. I'm gonna use the Rode Salty Tan Lip Treatment. I forgot to carve out the cheekbones with powder, so we're just gonna do that really fast. And I might let that sit for a second because of how chiseled her facial structure is. Okay, and this is the final look. Let me know how you think I did. I think this is gorgeous. It's definitely a little bit different from what I do on an everyday basis, but I love it. I feel like my face card is lethal now. Okay, love you guys, bye. Hey guys. So, let's do some skincare to ever for this lovely sunny day. So it has been sunny like a week and I've been loving it. I've actually been loving it. Yesterday was so hot, like oh my god. And yesterday my mum got a little well well yeah, my mum got me and my sister a like like a nice sized pool and I literally love it. Like we have like a like a really really big one but like it's just because like we have like trees in our garden but like you can literally the sun comes in but there's like loads of big trees at the back of our garden so you can't really like have no sun on the grass where the pool is that didn't really make no sense but, like where we usually put our massive pool that you like there's no sun like coming into the pool so it's just like really annoying because then it gets even more colder so my mum got us a small pool yesterday and it's me and my sister just love it it's so much better but today we're just, i'm just sitting indoors and then I'm going to go to my nan's and like we're going to take her dog on a walk to this other place like I don't know. I'm going to put on my Nivea Soft 
now. But yeah, I'm just going to walk to the dog today at like three o'clock or something. Um, I just put some of these bronzer drops on and I always, always forget to put on some sun cream. So I'm going to put on some now. I'm using the Super Goop um, Every Single Place SPF 50. It, they say that you're supposed to put like two fingers of that sun cream on your fingers right here. And then, yeah, it's just like the perfect amount of SPF. Or sun cream and guys if you see me wearing these tops like all the time it's just because they're such good summer tops now i'm just putting on from raw beauty um concealer i'm just doing my eyebrows now but i haven't got my mirror on because i just couldn't be bothered to put the mirror on so we're just using my little mirror and just this little light thing don't worry guys, I did not keep my eyebrows looking like that. I used the e.l.f. brow lift. Love it. I'm going to put on some lip liner for some reason. It's just nice to do. Here's my shade at all, but... Oh well, I'm just putting on some of my Dior lip gloss now. All done. Bye guys.